Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable RCIS on your phone, even if it's not available for your carrier or for your phone. In my case, I use a Note 10. I'm in Germany and until today I couldn't use RCIS, but with a little trick, you can use it. I'm going to show you here in the settings, status connected. So to do this trick, you're gonna have to disable your Wi-Fi and use your mobile data. Also, you're gonna use some apps. One of them is uh, Carer Services. It's already installed on my device. We're gonna go and clear the cache, clear everything and start everything from beginning. Also, from the messages, you're gonna need Messages Beta. Uh, if you have normal messages from Google, then uh, you'll need to come here at the bottom and then uh, join Beta testing mode and also one app that you're gonna need is activity launcher here at the top I'm gonna leave you the link down in the description so let's go into the settings and clear everything up so we're gonna start from the beginning carrier services for stop it stopped already and clear cache clear that I can't do anything because well uh, it's already cleared then the next one is gonna be actually here at the top activity launcher for stop storage clear cache clear data so I cleared everything now we need to go into the messages messages for stop and storage clear cache and clear data so now we can go back and start the messages app once you start it it's gonna start normally allow everything got it then you're gonna be with a normal message so if you go here in chat features, it says not available for this device. Okay, let's go into activity launcher now. Disclaimer, blah, blah, blah. Okay, press yes. Now it's loading all the apps on my phone. Now every app is displayed here. Let's go and search for messages. Messages, there we go. Now we need to go into set RCS flags. You choose here the first one and then you choose here a production sandbox and then as well in the set pattern choose the only option available apply it and the messages crashed it's okay it's supposed to go, to go like that close it and then come into the messaging app and force stop it once again let's Try to open it actually. Now we see the at the bottom here. New, see what when friends are tapping. Upgrade now. Let's upgrade. I'm gonna put my number and verify. Uh, you, you should get a code from Google to verify your phone. If you're using Wi Fi, then you're not gonna get this code. Of course, this might not work from the first time. For me, it worked for like third, fourth time. Uh, right now, I'm not getting the code so. I'm gonna probably need to go again and clear cache, clear data, start everything from beginning until you receive the code. Because if I press here, resend code, it will try to verify again, but it will not send the code. Also, if you press cancel it, I'm gonna show you, didn't receive the code. If you press cancel, go here into the settings, chat features, and it says uh, trying to set up your number. So let's go again actually and app info for stop okay storage clear everything clear data blah 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 and let's start from beginning this like i've said might not work from the first time so now once you cleared everything from the messaging app when you come straight here you set rcs flags then it will start the app like it started the first time so let's allow again everything Got it, now it's a normal application. Let's go activity launcher, set RCS flags. Go again, the last one here. And apply. Now we didn't crash. Let's uh, close the app for stop it. And let's see if it will say upgrade. Yeah, it says upgrading now. Enter my phone number, verify. And hopefully you're gonna get the a code if not well need to keep trying and now I, I got the code it says here unknown error try again but well you received the code already let's go back 
actually let's uh, try to verify again and it did verify when you come here at the top settings chat features and then it says connected it might take a few tries but well in the end it's gonna work i can't really show you right now the, the feature you can go and youtube and check other videos but well this video was to show you how to get it it's easy but well you see there is some steps to follow and like i've said if you're gonna use wi-fi then to activate it it's not gonna work of course after it's activated you can come and turn on your wi-fi and then it's gonna be connected you saw there it says connecting and then it it, it got connected even though you're using wi-fi let's disconnect here the wi-fi to see say it's disconnected now it's gonna switch to the carrier it should uh, connect and there we go it's connected but yeah i hope this trick was useful for you guys give it a try and let me know down below in the comments if it worked for you see you on the next one